Yeah, so we saw them right there and they worked up and over on the other side. So we're gonna just follow their tracks and see if we can find them. starting to pick up we were hoping it's almost midnight and we just set up camp right now it's about 45 degrees and Saturday it's supposed to be windy Sunday supposed to be windy but then it's gonna drop to like coldest it's supposed to be is like four degrees so it's gonna get pretty cold and then Sunday snow Monday snow but out of the five of us there's three that have tags Tyson is one of them, Kevin, and then Steve, AKA Bucket, and we'll see them tomorrow morning. Yeah, so it is windy and raining. Weather's not good right now, but as soon as it stops raining too, they always come out, so I don't know. We'll see what happens, but right now it's pretty windy. So we got a lot of weather coming in. The pants were soaked. So just before we go out tonight, I'm putting these gators on. Because I have a feeling we got weather right over here. That's coming our way. So he's underneath this long juniper right here, this pinion. I would say, I would say, yeah, unless, unless you want to have... Uh, yeah, he just bedded down. Okay, it's going to be a, a really long shot, but he just bedded down. It's a thousand yards. It's a thousand yards, so we might want to get on the other side of the ridge and shoot across. What other side of the ridge? the ridge to the east side of us, that ridge, and then get out to the point and then shoot across. Okay, we'll go over there and you line us up. Okay, yeah, hurry. All right, so Tyson just spotted a, a decent five point bull elk and Kevin, one of the guys that is in our camp, has, a, has an elk tag, so we just bedded him and it's going to take probably another uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes for them to get around and get on this other ridge. I think this is his first elk, so it's kind of exciting. But yeah, we'll just keep watching them and then we'll wait for them to get on this ridge. And it should be hiking out this way. We should be able to get a visual of them pretty soon. The elk's still bedded, so everything looks to be pretty good right now. Of course, as we get set up, the storm's starting to roll in. It's starting to rain again. We'll see what happens. Jeez. That was a close one. Oh, shoot. He just shot. I think he's down. The elk's down. He's moving his head. Nice shot. Looks like it's dead. He's down. The bull is down. Um, unfortunately, some rain came through right as he was getting ready to shoot and I, did, I couldn't get it on film. So anyways, I'll get some video of it here in a little bit, but one shot and dead. So pretty stoked. It's gonna be a pretty sweet bull. I, it is his first bull, so uh, super excited. There he is. No kidding, dude. First bull elk, Kevin. That's a, that's a good bull, dude. Good bull. Wow. Huh? 550 yards? 550 days with a 
<laughs> With all, no, not just a little wind. This, this was a major, major wind. I mean, holy cow, look at that. That is great, fantastic. And you know what? That shot, check out that shot, guys. We got a, we got, we got a storm, snow, supposed to be coming in tonight. But that's that shot right there, boom. Yeah, pretty nice, jazz, man. Huh? I'm yeah. stoked. Absolutely. Heck yeah. All right, so we uh, we're now at the top of the ridge where they shot the bull. So we got Bucket and we got Tyson, and we're gonna go meet up with Kevin and my dad. Yeah. I would, I would say hi. Don't come low. Yeah. You did it. You got him, man. Heck yeah. That's so sweet. Nice. That first shot. Ooh. Yeah, it came in so strong. Yeah. Good job, dude. Thanks, man. Dude. What up? What's up, dude? I'm so stoked. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better get you know, ready. That thing's straight up. David, this is measure, where he was laying. He yeah. didn't even move an inch. He didn't even do anything. What a shot. <laughs> Was the rest, he, the rest we had was perfect. Was it I mean, perfect? Oh yeah. That wind and rain. Perfect. I thought for sure because when I saw him, I said, "Dude, get ready, you gotta shoot again." He says, "I hit him! I hit him!" And I said, "No, you didn't." I says, "He's still laying there." I, I said, "No way, he smoked." <laughs> How did you know he was smoked? I, I couldn't tell. His head was was looking this way, yeah. and then after I shot. He just, his head just went over. Oh, really? He didn't move it an inch. He didn't do and anything. And I couldn't see any of that. But his head laid down like that, and that was it. Good morning. We got the snow we wanted. It's, uh, it's a little breezy. It's not too bad, though. But this makes for good deer hunting, so uh, we're pretty excited. We haven't seen hardly any tracks over uh, the tops, but my feeling is, you know, the, the storm just passed probably two hours ago, and I think they're gonna be hiding down in the bottoms. Let's go. We, uh, we crossed a buck path, and uh, we decided to follow the tracks and ended up jumping this buck, so I'm pretty sure that was him. Not a shooter, though. Some of them are, but we've seen probably 12 doe and, and, and no bucks. All right, we just jumped the buck. We are going to work our way around and hopefully get in front of them. We saw them right there and they worked up and over on the other side, so we're going to just follow their tracks and see if we can find them. There's like three does and one good buck, so once we get up higher, we just got to be able to find their tracks in the snow. Then we'll follow them out. And we found his track, so we're on him now. We went back to camp, we ate, and now we're working this opposite side and going to see if we can catch that deer. I either bedded or working down this draw, so that's the plan so far. We'll see if we can find him.
That's a good shot. Where's that shot? 800. 700 yards. Oh, 700. That's a good shot. It's a good That's sick. I think it's. I think it's the same one. I want to get him out tonight, so I don't have to do it in the morning. Okay. 2020 nice. Fuck that. What? 2020 year of the deer. 2020 year of the deer, baby. Yeah. So we're gonna have a long, cold night tonight. So we're gonna hurry and beeline it over there. We, it's not too bad. There is a road off the top. So we just have to uh, hike down into that first ledge, uh, take care of the deer, and then work our way back up. I mean, it's like, I think it's probably like 15 degrees right now. So it's freezing. It's cold, but we're gonna hurry and it's cold. see what happens. It's a good buck. Now that's funny. I was taking too long to get ready, so I grabbed my backpack. He's carrying both of them right now. He's excited to see this deer. For about a half mile, I'd guess, to get directly above the deer. And then we're gonna drop down and see if we can find him. It's gonna be tough. It's always tough to find animals in the dark, so. But I think we have a pretty good idea where he's at. Buck's gotta be somewhere in here. There are a bunch of logs in the no, I think it's that one right there. Yeah. I think it's that second log in right there. I told you. I told you. There he is. Is it a good buck? One second. Kind of what I thought. Nice buck, though. Dang, that's a good buck. There. Got a big body. He's got a huge body. Sweet. There you go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. He's got great eye guards too. Sure. Got everything. Yeah. Got everything? Yep. Okay. So, that wraps it up. We're gonna hike back to the truck and uh, try to warm up. It's only 10 degrees. Oh boy, and it just keeps getting colder and colder. Okay, my hands are freezing, so. Can I bend over a little bit? All right, we got the meat, the antlers. We just made it to the top. So now it's just a, about a half mile back to the truck. And it should be good. Already warming up. On this hike. Whew.